The Indian Institute of Technology Madras is known for excellence in technical education, basic and applied research, innovation, entrepreneurship and industrial consultancy. IIT Madras is a distinguished institute of national importance that has remained at the top of the ranking scales year after year. This year too, it continued to bag the top spot in the National Institute Ranking Framework 2023 for fifth consecutive year. We at Innovation Cell had a pleasure of speaking with Director IIT Madras, Professor V. Kamakoti to understand the underlying spirit of IIT Madras that keeps it on a winning streak. So one of the important things that we realized about uh, NARF right from the time of its inception was that um, this is a very collective effort. This cannot happen just because of faculty, it cannot happen just because of students. It is a collective effort of student, faculty, staff members, industry, alumni. Everybody has a role to contribute to the parameters that are coming up and of course the total support of the government. I think all these five have fallen in correct place and that is why we are able to retain this rank and also improve on our scores. When you compare with what has happened last year to this year, we have improved on several fronts. And uh, the second thing is that we also do a very thorough detailed analysis on every parameter on a yearly basis and on a continual basis. And what we also found that when we are increasing from 0.75 to 0.85, that range was quite easy, right? If I want to go from 0.75 to 0.8, that was not a major effort that we need to do. But if I want to go from say 0 0.90 to 0.91, so as we start approaching the 100%, there are a lot of things that we need to keep in mind. There are a lot of long, big efforts, careful thinking process that need to be put there. So that is one which we are continuously following up and we are putting those efforts at the proper place so that those parameters improve. More than the ranking, more than the uh, scores that we get, we find this NAR framework to be extremely important for the institute for the betterment of the processes, betterment of the uh, education that we are giving, betterment of our research and innovation on all these fronts. We have aligned ourselves completely with the national education policy. So there are two or three important things that we have in mind. Number one is that we are uh, currently looking at large amount of interdisciplinary research work. We have been granted the Institute of Eminence in 2018. Today, uh, last week, we did open up uh, 15 centers of excellence which are interdisciplinary in nature, meaning at least 10 faculty from three to four departments participate in this and that is very important for the next generation research and for the next generation education also. So that is one thing which is very important and it has been very highly uh, you know elaborated in the national education policy. Uh, the second important thing that we are is on the internationalization front. We believe that we can go and contribute to the world, the Vishwa Guru that we have been talking of. So we will be opening up a campus in Tanzania and everything goes well by October and um, that is something which would be the first IIT to open a campus abroad. So, so that is also the internationalization front is also taking up a very important feature here and that I believe will bring a lot more of diverse diversity into the campus. Uh, it will also expose us to multiple culture and for them to come and uh, look at the Indian culture. So this is number two. And we have been stressing on innovation and entrepreneurship. Um, we have several success stories in the recent past and I am sure that over a period of time 
we will be doing a wonderful uh, innovation and entrepreneurship stack for the country. Um, we have a very systematic way by which a student gets an idea how he becomes a successful startup. And these are some of the very important things that we are focusing on. When we look at startups in other parts of the world, when you look at investors, what they look at, whether I put this investment and whether I'll get back that return, it is more like more of wealth oriented. But the startup culture that we have been developing here is to serve India, serve Indian needs. That is one thing that we are inculcating in our students. So for example, today we have done a startup which does uh, a, a, a robo for septic tank cleaning, which is essentially today an effort to remove manual scavenging in the country. We now have a startup which has done a very robust uh, system for medical consultations. We have uh, done a startup which is 3D printing rocket engines in our great space program that we have, the liberalized space program that the government has offered to us. There is enormous amount of economy uh, development that is going to come there. But at the same time, we are looking at from a country's perspective, not just as a wealth generation perspective. And I believe that this perspective uh, will make our startup more uh, uh, locally relevant and globally uh, recognized. We have now what we call as an innovation stack. There is a center for innovation. This is this building, the Honorable Vice, Vice President actually uh, came and inaugurated the building. The center for innovation uh, encourages students. Um, there are several clubs in that. We have around 16, 17 clubs. Uh, the, any student who has an idea, they come to the Center for Innovation. It's, uh, it's run by the student for the students. Uh, and uh, they will be uh, given some reasonable amount of funding. They will be given mentorship to basically convert that idea into a design. Uh, and then there is a pre-incubator called Nirman, uh, which will systematically now convert this uh, uh, design into a prototype. And then we have five incubation uh, incubators inside IIT Madras. We have the incubation cell of IIT Madras. Uh, uh, and then we have a health technology innovation center. We have a uh, IITM Pravartak Foundation, which is for the uh, cyber physical system. We have a uh, techno uh, bio incubator. And then we have a rural incubator. So we have five incubators there, uh, which basically enables this prototype to be converted into a startup. We also have a very effective patenting system where we, where we encourage the students to patent. Uh, in the last year, we had have, we have the largest uh, patent in the country among uh, academic institutions. We had filed around 240 plus patents and we had around 170 plus that, is, that was granted. And then, uh, then we have the uh, Gopalakrishnan Deshpande Center, which is funded by uh, two of our illustrious distinguished alumnus, Chris Gopalakrishnan and Desh Deshpande. Uh, uh, which basically nurtures the startup to make them a unicorn. So we have very good startup stories. The Ether Scooter is one of IIT Madras incubated startup. You will be seeing Agnicool that's coming up in a very big way. Tutor, which is working on the uh, uh, Hyperloop, is coming out in a big. We had two very good uh, exist uh, in the last year from two companies, Medibuddy and uh, <coughs> and other uh, other. Uh, smaller exits we have. So uh, this is overall the, uh, we are, uh, these, all these stacks uh, that we have set up and the way things are proceeding gives us a lot of confidence that we are doing things right. And uh, I believe that this will be uh, a very big turning point uh, in trying to get more employers in the country than, than employees. So I gave you two examples. One was the example of the uh, uh, septic tank cleaner, uh, Robo, which is today um, can completely eradicate uh, manual scavenging in the country, which the Honorable Supreme Court has come down and said that uh, you know manual scavenging should be stopped. And socially also we feel it is relevant. Uh, Agnicool, for example, will now uh, uh, give, give a different landscape into how we uh, uh, produce rocket engines. Uh, they have a patented technology. Uh, we have uh, Tutor, uh, the Hyperloop, which will redefine, in my opinion, uh, the transportation 
uh, of our country, specifically the goods transportation. Um, we have the e-plane company that is coming up, which will be an air taxi, which will be of very high innovation here. In addition, we have port center, uh, one of the largest uh, port centers in Asia, uh, where uh, we can simulate the sea, we can simulate vessel design, etc. And I believe a lot more of startups are going to come out because India is a country where we have a ocean named after our country, the Indian Ocean. We, uh, we enjoy a large Sagarmala of coast and maritime is very, very important and that's going to be a big economy booster. So we are seeing a lot of startups in that direction. We already have a lot more of startups working on non-destructive testing, uh, the lab-grown diamond that is coming up uh, for which uh, uh, this year we have got a 250 crore funding. And that is going to be a major uh, uh, turning point. Uh, we also have a discovery campus, which is 25 kilometers away from our main campus at uh, Chennai. And uh, there we have uh, all these multiple startups and multiple big, uh, big, long, large size projects that are happening. Uh, so, I think today uh, the policies of the government are really helping As For example, if you look at the drone policy which came last year, has helped many startup companies including several IIT Madras company investing in the drone technology to take this up. Uh, there are a lot of PLI schemes, uh, performance and uh, production linked incentive uh, schemes that are uh, promoted by the government. So, there is a policy intervention, a positive policy intervention uh, that is taking this up. Uh, this is number one. Number two is that uh, these uh, companies are deep into technology. If you take Hyperloop, for example, you have 78 students from uh, six different departments which involve computer science, electrical, mechanical, materials, uh, you know, structures, aerospace and all, right? So we are now seeing design, for example. So we are seeing a massive um, deep technology development there. Uh, so uh, the, the only thing that we need to make it right and we are trying to do that is that the investors get confidence in these companies and invest in them. Um, if it is, uh, uh, normally we see specifically, I work in the area of semiconductors and we have five startups in the area of semiconductors coming out of my lab, right? So, but the only thing that we see is that um, we are very keenly working on Atman Nirbhartha, but the, uh, uh, but the investors must get, must get the Atma Vishwas, the confidence in these startups and uh, in our own startups and then fund them. I think that has started happening and that slowly we will build that trust and uh, more and more success stories do come. I'm sure we are going to become a great country. In 2047, when we look at technology leadership and we want to be technologically superior, I think it's very, very important that uh, we have our innovation and entrepreneurship right put right in that effort. One thing is every small idea, uh, you don't uh, um, judge what the idea is. Go and patent it and let the patent decide whether it's a great idea or a, uh, a smaller idea. So the greatness of your idea, every time you should not. And that is what is happening today. So patent all your ideas. This is my first uh, uh, request to all the students here. Uh, you do, every, every university has thousands of uh, undergraduate and postgraduate uh, theses that are submitted and many of these theses right is um, are patentable but they just missed the idea bus so i think that is one first step that i would request all the students today protect your ideas by patenting and patenting has become very easy in our country uh, in terms of it's just 1800 rupees or something like that and then uh, even for expediting uh, within uh, 18 months you get yes or no uh, that is also some 4000 rupees so i think um, the process has become very simplified and uh, it, uh, this is very good for our country so number one is they need to patent and second thing is let them take more risk in life in a young age for example i'm say 21 age and uh, uh, i i may not have uh, any big liability or loans or anything and i can probably take a couple of years risk to see whether i'll be successful take that risk and uh, I'm sure uh, other institutions will be there to help them. When at IIT Madras, we have an incubation cell and we want to make it 10x in the sense we have been, we have incubated around 300 companies, we want to make it 3000 in the, in the next few years. So, so we are also trying to, you know, adopt more incubators and help them mentor companies. So the incubators today must be given some 
good level of funding, reasonable amount of funding, and uh, they should encourage the uh, the, the 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 startups uh, with some initial funding in return to equity. And I think that is the way uh, we need to go up. And in the end, that was some valuable advice for our young innovators and entrepreneurs from Professor Kamakoti. We will soon have some more from the world of technology and innovation from IIT Madras. Keep watching this space. Goodbye.